All right, we've got our Nintendo Game Boy, and which is really just here just to... Hey, the, the form factor is cool. We all mm -hmm. remember this. It's retro in its styling, let alone its video games. But what if we could actually take our passion for retro gaming and our passion for single board computers and DIY and build something like a Nintendo Game Boy? That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome? It would be spectacular. <laughs> Odroid celebrated their 10-year anniversary by creating such a gizmo, and they're available now. You can go to cat5.tv slash odroidgo. And we're going to hop over there, and Bill and I are, well, Bill hop, hop. is going to get his hands into the box and uh, do an unboxing. Do you want to head on over there? Sure. <laughs> do, do, do. Are we, we going to assemble, assemble the... Oh, yeah, no, we're, we're not going to assemble, assemble the uh, Lego version. We've got an actual retro Game Boy style thing. This is the Odroid Go, oh. folks, and Bill's going to get into the box for you. So here we have the Odroid Go. Well, that's a neat little bubble wrap and instructions. Who, who needs instructions? Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. Maybe a power cable. Board. Various parts and pieces and your lithium ion battery. So the Odroid Go, because it arrives like this, it's kind of a fun project. We can, I think this is going to be great for kids, DIY folks like ourselves that are just really into, mm -hmm. like, hey, let's get our hands dirty and get in there and, and do it. How hard do you think this is going to be to assemble, Bill? Do you think that it's possible that we could actually make this happen? 17 parts. I looked. I checked. You counted? <laughs> It's significantly smaller than a Game Boy. It I is. thought it was like it looks a lot like one in its styling, but let's pull a, a, an old retro Game Boy here from the early 80s and just compare size wise. There you go. So there's the Odroid Go case, which we're going to assemble, and an actual Game Boy. Well, this is cool because these instructions are how to use the emulators. Oh, okay. It's not how you put it together. Doesn't, doesn't tell you how to put no. it together, Bill. <laughs> that doesn't help us at all. No, it doesn't. We're not at that stage yet. No, help me. Okay. I think you have to go online to the wiki. All right. So we're going to pretend that we went to the wiki because, hey, we're live, Bill. And we're guys. We're guys. I don't know what that means, to be honest with you. I think er it doesn't mean I'm arrogant. <laughs> did did you look at the instructions? I did not. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We're gonna. This is gonna go terrible. Um, okay. So first thing that we need to do, Bill. Okay. This is the screen protector that's going to go on here. So you can feel that there's a bit of a bezel here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to go on there. First thing I want to do is just make sure that I've got a little bit of a grip on this so that I can remove it a little easier once it's assembled and pull the inside of this out. There we go. And see if I can get that off of the screen. See, you cheated. You actually read the instructions. I did read the instructions. Yes, sir. There we go. Okay. So I've got the inside out. Pull this off here. Now we want to be careful that, you know, this is tempered glass or whatever, and just be careful with how you handle that. We don't want to get any fingerprints on it. That's probably the key thing here, because you're going to have a lot of trouble getting them off if you do once it's assembled. So we just kind of push that in there. Make sure it's in nice and snug. So that is actually a piece of protective plastic or whatever it is for our screen. So that's the next step here, Bill. Want to pass me the uh, box cutters? Huh? Huh? Okay. Bill likes that because he always makes fun of me for my scissors. Okay. So again, I want to be very, very mindful to handle this on the outside so that I'm not getting fingerprints on the screen itself. So this is going to go this way. If I see oh, the smudges are going to come off as soon as I remove that. That's good. And we'll put that in here. So just going to pop that in here. See the little clips there? And then carefully snap that in. 
because I don't want to crack that screen. Absolutely not. So there we go. We're getting there. Okay. Buttons. You want to help with these guys? I can do that. All right. So you, you work at that. Bill's going to work at that. I'm going to fix the audio there because you guys have got an echo. Which shot was that, Sasha? The wide shot. When you switch over to, uh, to Bill and I. Yes. To the, you, to the product cam. That's the one yeah. I was telling you about. Right. Thanks, everybody. Chat room. There we are. That should fix it for you. And the chat on the screen needs to be restarted. Thank you. <laughs> We're fraught with peril tonight. Also. <laughs> yeah. The good thing about the A and the B buttons, they're, they're keyed. So you can't put them in the wrong spot. That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's good. So this is, it's a very, very simple project. I mean, I was, I really wanted to be able to put this together yeah. on the show. So you see you have the A and the B buttons. Yep. But there are these plastic tabs here. Oh, okay. These are closer together on oh, the A than on ah, the B. So they smart. cannot put them in the wrong very spot. Very smart. That's good. Okay, so we're going to get these guys here, the rubberized backings. Those switches are just going to go in there as well. What do you have there? Oh, that's the side power switch. That's the power okay. switch, yeah. It's gonna There's some uh, depending on those where guys. The board goes. There's another one there. It takes two, folks. I'm actually just. There you go. Where are these? Uh, ups, upside down, other way. Turn it around the other way. There yep. you go. And that's that's also keyed. Look at that. So this is something that. Uh, I think I could, it could do with my young boys, which would be absolutely a lot of fun for them. My daughter is is she's not as keen on the uh, electronics and stuff. I'd love to uh, include her in it as well, but she'll play the games for sure. <laughs> okay, that we don't need yet. Okay, so next up, we've got the circuit board, which we're going to carefully place on top here. Right, like that. That's just going to line up with the screw holes. Do we put the switch in at that time? There we go. I think we'll screw it in. Yeah, will it stay in our, right away? Oh yeah, I guess so. I think the switch needs to capture the... The right. slide needs to capture the switch. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, I got some screwdrivers here for us. We're well prepared tonight. This is where it gets fun with my band-aids on my fingers <laughs> and bleeding like crazy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my cuticles, the dry Canadian air. You know? <laughs> it's cold. It's been cold. Yeah. All right, where are the screw holes? Let's get this. Right, Got to get it to line up. There we go. Is this magnetic? Of course not. Of course not. <sighs> Bill. Do you want me to get them started for you? Hey? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see us or not. I'll tell you what. You start with that one. Okay. All right. Here we go. You're so tiny. Yeah. All right. Screw holes are labeled, Bill. You've got a better screwdriver. I, I can hear you messing around in a... What do you got? I got my own screwdriver. Oh man! With, with a oh, you've put a magnet on the side of it. Yeah. So I can't makes it. Magnetic. I can't hold That's these. Who, what 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 grown man can hold those screws? I don't know, right. Okay. There. I just I got it started for you. Oh, it's special. See, that's a smart idea. When you get up here, get this one. If I didn't shake so much, I'd be all right. <laughs> um, what? We want to make sure, because that one that you just put in is going to actually be a chassis screw. 
So watch the, uh, I think there's labels on there I saw that uh, show which ones are the internal screws versus the uh, chassis screws. Okay. So yeah, that'll be that one. You guys see what I'm talking about? I'll show you. Brilliant. Yeah, so we don't want any of these screws along mm -hmm. the outer edge to go on to right three there should be one over here four okay and these a little bit of a and five the first one they were uh, hey all right so it's starting to feel like a game boy <gasps> that looks awesome. isn't that sweet okay <laughs> and this one Does the speaker need to go in before the circuit board is screwed down? Uh, not before the circuit board is screwed down, but before we cut, put the backing on it. Definitely. Okay. So we can do that. Uh, looks like that's the next thing. I'm surprised that this is as quick and easy as it is. Like, we're doing this live on the air, and uh, it's nice and simple. Are you, are you opping over there, Sash? Sorry. I am. Okay. I can switch to the faces. Oh, I just did. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the speaker. There we go. Goes into the jack marked speaker. speaker. Yeah, it actually says speaker, folks. There you go. You saw that, right? Yeah, I don't know if they did. I don't know. Um, what what uh, kind of retro gaming era would you call your own, Bill? Is it like the NES or... 2600. Yeah, Atari. Yes, cool. I owned a 2600. This this actually will emulate the Atari 2600, 7800. Yeah. Um, so it's not just a Game Boy. So when I say Game Boy, I mean, it really has that form factor, but it's not just Game Boy emulation. It also has Game Boy Color. It's got Game Gear. Can I be so... Um, can I actually plug in the power right now and trust that we've got everything correct so the only thing i guess is the screen we just got to plug in that screen All right so right in there i also had pong pong the original how was that played like on the there was a coleco vision oh, no it was a line down the middle of your screen there were two oh rectangles on each side and a dot that went back and forth did and yours that was have the entire did game. you have to stick something to the tv no I even had that, where you had to stick a suction cup to the side of the TV, and it would flash to communicate with it using some kind of lighting. So it would... You're younger than I am. How did you manage I, that? It's just <laughs> what I had. It's what I had. All right. I think that's it. Should we power it up before... Uh, well, this... These pins here allow us to do, like, GPIO <laughs> programming and things okay. like that. So we don't need those in there for day-to-day um, -day usage. Um, it looks good. There we go. I've put the battery so that I don't see the sticker from the front. I think it looks better that way. It's cleaner. Yeah. All right, should we do the, uh, the case? Make sure the battery cable is not blocking the screw port, which I've done. And the screen. Let's go. I can do some here, too. Yeah, let's, 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 let's make it happen. Out. Let's night out. Let's do the corners, Bill, and then uh, we can fire it up and see if it works. So this is the SD card slot here. Um, I wasn't sure when I looked at the pictures whether I was going to be able to ac actually access the SD card slot while it was together. I wasn't sure if it was like covered by the plastic. I had to install the SD card, but it does look like it's something that you can. Plug Android in. does a good job of, of doing that. Yeah, it's a nice looking, nice looking system. I think that's enough to. Get it rocking. That's it, all. folks. So in that amount of time, we've put this together. It's the Odroid Go from cat5.tv slash Odroid Go. And are we ready to fire it up? Never done this, so... Oh! Oh! oh. We have ignition. Just like that. Okay. So you said 2600. We've got Sega Master System, Game Gear, ColecoVision. I don't seem to have 2600 on here, Bill. Well, so, I do have an, an NES as well. Okay, so let's try NES. And a so Game Boy. You can, you can add firmwares and everything. Now, on this SD card, I've simply imported a couple of ROMs. 
So, what, uh, any particular game? Bubble Bobble. Dr. Mario, that Dr. was Dr. Mario. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, my sister played Dr. that Mario. all the time. Dr. Mario, start. Re oh, it puts on the screen what these buttons do. I'll tell you, Old Joy does a good job. And nice. And ROM's a nice. Okay. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Same music. You guys see this? Oh my god! No, you took it out of the screen. We're all right. That is too cool. Oh, there we go. Now I got it, Bill. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Try this. I. Wait a minute. Oh dear. I'm gonna lose. It plays just like it, eh? Just like it. That is fantastic. Folks, check out cat5.tv slash odroid go. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm a awesome. Amazing. So of course it's an emulator of these retro kind of classics that are handheld, so but NES as well, mm -hmm. um, and I did see Atari 2600, uh, Game Gear, all those kind of Game Gear, like that's awesome. So check it out, cat5.tv/odroidgo.